Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video we will see how to dynamically unpivot a data frame. Let's get started. So I already have the script ready to read this file called as orders.csv. You can download the same from the Google Drive. The link will be shared in the description of this video. Inside this there is a Databricks folder. 45th folder you will have this orders.csv or you can use any other. The first thing I am going to show you the script is in Scala. So let's run this. We'll also see this in PySpark as well. So we have this data frame now here. Before we head over to this, let's try to recall. Earlier in our playlist, in the 30th example, we have this, we have covered pivot and unpivot. So for here now we are focusing on unpivot. So if you remember what we are doing is we had this almost the same data frame, I guess. So there we were unpivoting the country column. So and also we had the English product name on the left hand side but now what we are talking is we want to unpivot the entire data frame no matter how many columns are there we want to just unpivot it so the one of the things that will go from here is you will not need this you will not need the column name but you will need this expression you will need this entire expression so now this entire expression we will be using stack the first is the number of columns obviously which we want to get dynamically and then we want to prepare this string dynamically so let's see how we can do this come back over in our notebook fine so now what we have to do is two things one is to get the number of columns on this data frame and the other is to get all those names of the columns as well dynamically because there could be any number of columns here we are not assuming that we have 10 columns 20 columns we want to just dynamically take care of it and for especially for larger data frames this can be handy and the code is going to be fully dynamic this was one of the scenarios which we faced recently and so I thought that this would be a nice example to share and I'll be covering both in Scala and PySpark so let's get started the first thing what we will do is one of the problems uh, which I experienced while unpivoting is if you look at this data frame this data frame has string data types for columns as well as integer double you could also have date now when you try to unpivot you will get error directly the reason being each of these columns need to be converted into a string so we have to write some additional code for the per same so first let us see how will you get the column names and I'll not convert the data types let us just go without converting and observe the error and then we'll correct it so let us go step by step the first thing I want to do is take this data frame take this data frame and then get the columns out of it so simply we'll see data frame dot columns then let us store this in a variable called as calls or any other and let us run this so here it will return you an array now why we want this we want this name so that we can prepare a string out of this we'll come to it shortly another thing I want is or I can write this in a different cell as well that's fine or the same the column count so the column count will be nothing but very simple what we can do is either I can take this entire thing orders df dot columns dot and control space here you can just say size run this so here you go 9 and you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this or what you can do is simply since this is returning an array you can also just say calls dot size any one of them is fine and we have to convert this to string so I'll say dot to string fine so this is done now what we want to do is if you recall the unpivot code we use stack and after that each column name appears twice one inside single quote and the other repeated without the single quote so we have to prepare that kind of string so what we'll do is we have this under this variable called calls which is an array and out of this I'm going to duplicate things so let us see how to do that so let us say stack string this is the variable name you could choose anything I want to loop into every single element of this so right now since we are in Scala we can use map 
and we have seen the example of map in Scala playlist as well so what map will do effectively is it will loop into each and every item it will return every one item so I want to take every single item so let us denote that item by saying X and then say implies equal to and then greater sign and in this I want to do some extra logic so I'll just open and close the brackets over here curly braces hit enter and then take any other variable so let us say val we can say stack str or any other name that you could think of that's fine now what you will do is in x you will get nothing but this now how I, wa how I want this output to be prepared is in this way I'll just show you comma this way this is how the unpivot code needs it first in single quote and then without the single quote so how will we get that we can just say use x to call the name which will be the name itself but I want to enclose this in single quote so what I'll do is and then I want to separate it by comma so comma and again x so two times x will return us both the names then what we'll do is enclose this in single quote in this way and what I'll do is just enclose this entire string in double quotes and then I'll just place dollars over here so that this will be using interpolation and then s that's it so if I run this entire thing let's understand this is how you're getting it now why we don't see anything printed over here is because this although it has performed the action and stored this in a variable but it is not returning so here what you need to do is you need to just call this variable so that it becomes the return line and then you see this is how we want it so each and every column dynamically we have just duplicated the name one with the single quote and one without the single quote and that's how we need it and then I want to convert this entire into a string so then what we'll just say is use the make string and run this now this is how we got rid of all those brackets which were there at the start and the end fine now what we want to do is move further but however there is one more issue if you see after this set there is no comma between these two things there should be comma so what we'll do is the make string does give us an option so I'll pass comma in the argument and now we are fine so we should have comma after each and every element as you can see fine now partially we are almost there once we have this let us just remove this now final thing is we want to pass two things one is this stack string and another is the number of the columns so what we can do is we can either take this in a variable call this as final stack string or you can do it directly also that's fine so the column count is here this is the variable and then I'll say comma and the stack string and I'll put this in double quotes use interpolation use dollar sign over here for both now why comma because we need let's say nine columns comma and then the name of this columns which are nothing but this entire string so if you'll run this you will observe you'll get somewhat like this way fine now comes the final time to unpivot it so I'll say unpivot df equals our original data frame which is nothing but orders df dot then we are going to write an expression so we'll use dot select expression and in this we will use again interpolation here we'll pass stack and inside this we'll just pass this string and since we are using interpolation I'll prefix dollar before the variable and then we'll get two columns by unpivoting so let them call this as let's say key comma value you can name them anything that's fine and then let's do display unpivot let's run this now here you see you will get error 
cannot resolve so and so due to data type mismatch argument to string now what happens is over here this is what I've encountered so all of these data types are not the same some of them are string some of the columns are integer double you could also have dates so what we'll do is we have to bring them into same data type because eventually uh, one of the logics is these all columns will form these all columns will form one single column the column names will be on the left hand side which will be obviously string and the values will be on the right hand side which will be which should have the same data type because they will be coming into single column so we just have to add one extra line of code before we do this and in order to do what we will do is once we read the data frame even if before before uh, doing anything we'll just cast these columns into string so in order to do that I'll import few things import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot first we need is functions we need the call function I'll just copy this paste and then we need the string type so we'll say types dot string type fine now what I'm going to do is take this data frame and cast every column to string let's see how we can do this so this is also one of the most important thing so we'll say ordersdf dot select in this again I'll say ordersdf dot columns dot map so map will iterate over every single thing every single column inside this open close the brackets for map and then we'll choose any variable let's say x and I say x implies and then we just want to cast so we'll use the call function which we have imported in this I'll pass x so this will represent that column dot cast open close the brackets and then string type so open close the brackets wherever required at that place itself rather than going at the end so now this is done everything and then what we will do is after we have done this inside the select we have to do one more thing so that it return, returns all the columns colon underscore star and then this will return us a data frame so I'll say val orders new df is equal to this let's run this so if you see all of the columns have turned into string we'll take this data frame and wherever we were using it we will just replace it and rerun the code so here I've replaced it and then here as well there you go so now you see after every nine rows you will see the column names will start from order date so this is how we are un unpivoted the entire data frame no matter how many number of columns you have this will work because we are doing this dynamically first again read the data frame next cast the each column each column of the data frame to string type in this way then take the column size convert it to string and also take the columns in a separate variable once you have those columns map them so that you can produce this kind of duplicated column names one in the quotes one without the single quotes that's how we need it in stack and make string separate by comma then we prepare the final string by joining uh, or concatenating rather column count and the stack string and then pass the new data frame casted data frame to with the selects expression with stack that's it this is how we will do in Scala now let's head over and see how we'll do this in PySpark let's go at the top copy this code and I will simply create a new notebook because I just don't want to keep switching always so let's say new notebook 050 dynamic unpivot PySpark keep the default language as Python so we will not have to switch on every part, every single cell so once we since we have copied that code now let's paste let's get rid of val and few customary things in python space slash at the end here for the load we should have brackets and for true just mention this in double quotes fine 
let's run this so now we have the data frame now we know the approach what we want to do so we'll just head over directly since we have this data frame we need to see how can we cast the columns to string type so in order to do that we will again need some import over here so from PySpark we say the import will be something different from PySpark.SQL dot functions I want to import call so we need call now so we have the this, this data frame and we will to cast each column to string type this is how we'll say select and this I'm going to use a for uh, list comprehension so in the square bracket I will say orders df dot columns now remember if I just write this code over here if you just say orders df dot column the way in Scala it returns an array here it is instead going to return us a list you can see the square bracket you can also save this in a variable and check the data type so here what I'll do is I am going to use a list comprehension to loop over in every single column of this data frame and convert it into string how can I do it is take the column over here make some space over here so we'll say call inside this choose any variable like let's say X and then I'll say dot cast and cast this to string and then begin the for x in so this is nothing but the expression we are saying whatever column is going to be fetched from the for loop cast it to the string each column will be pulled in this variable and then it will be casted and then in turn this will return us a new data frame so I'll call this as orders new df is equal to this run this sorry I just got used to Scala well should not be there so there there it is fine now once once we have this what we will do is the next step is the same get the column count let's say orders df dot columns we want the column name so let's store this in a variable called as calls run this same code but just I'm storing this in a variable now the difference is here it will not be printed so I would want to show you this step as well so let's say print calls there you have it the next thing what we want is the column count there we were saying orders df dot columns and then the count or the size rather I think if you see call calls dot size here what we'll do is this is nothing but a list so just a slightly different way how we are going to do it so let us call this as column count is equal to this is our list and we want the length so we'll use the length function and then print column count run this so there you see you have 9 fine now once we have done this the next step is to prepare that string dynamically it will be again a little bit different in Python how we did over here is we took the call and then mapped over it here I'm going to do it in a slightly different way so the name of the column is nothing but it is stored in this list called as calls so we will use again uh, sort of list comprehension over here so let's see step by step how to do this let us say I choose stack calls this is a variable this is our variable in which we have the list so I want to loop into every single element of this and just duplicate this so what I'll do is I'll start with this way so I'll say for x in calls so this will loop into every single thing now I want to make this as a list comprehension so I'll enclose this in square bracket in this way once I do this what I want is to duplicate so before this I will write some expression so here I'll just call X for now and at the bottom let me print this variable stack calls run this so now you see nothing much change for now because we were just simply looping over now what I'll do is just concatenate by saying plus X run this again so now you see every item has been repeated now what we need is 
the first item in single quote and the second item without the single quote so how we will do this is here there are various ways but this is what I'm choosing open close double quotes inside this single quote just a single quote plus and here again I'll just copy the same in this way here there should be plus as well let's run this first and see so now I'm getting in this way single quote for the first item and then order date plus what I also need is after the first item which is here after the single quote ends I should have a comma so I'll just mention comma over here run this again so we have that comma now and then I just want to join this everything now I see these double quotes over here I don't want double quotes for every single item inside this so what we will do is we will just join all of this together and in order to do that I'll simply just initiate a blank string then say dot join open the bracket since join is a function we are going to pass this entire list into it run this and this is how we want it but after the second item of each of the item in the list we are not getting comma so what I'll do is simply just mention comma over here so here you see this is the final string that we wanted so the first name should be in single quote and then without the single quote repeat it in this fashion fine so once we have this now we are ready to unpivot so what I can do is I can prepare a final stack string or I can directly pass so I, let's call this as final stack string this will be nothing but what our column count plus you can use interpolation as well that's fine and then uh, I want a comma between this plus then the stack calls so let's print and at each step purposely I'm just breaking and showing up so that you understand how the logic is so now you see you're getting your error for unsupported operand for int and str why because this is nothing but an string and this is integer if you see column count is an integer so all you got to do is we'll just convert this to string how you can do it you can just convert it here itself or at the bottom so use str so this is fine and then rerun this so we got this and let us take our casted data frame and finally we'll say dot select expr in this double quote stack open the bracket and then uh, here uh, as well we will use uh, interpolation so how I'm going to pass is let us just mention curly braces over here as key comma value that's it then after the double quotes dot format so we'll use the format to interpolate this and pass the final string so when we do this what will happen is this string will be passed over here and then stack will execute once we have done this this should return us unpivot df I'm sorry well should not be there just got in got used to Scala there and then let's say display copy this paste run so there you go and the entire data frame has been unpivoted so I just wanted to show you both the things in Scala as well as PySpark so there are just few things different hope you liked it and uh, the purpose also was not to share uh, only to share the scenario which I faced but also these small things how you can mix up uh, in programming and achieve your results in terms of any scenario that phase that's what is made so hope we will continue further as well on these kind of examples thanks for watching and stay tuned